He's beaten the likes of Shinya Aoki, Vinny Margulis, Harley Gracie, Masakazu Onari, Vanga Rocha, Satoru Kitayoka. The list goes on. Can he defeat Richard Kormanal in his global rule set debut? Donan comes out switching stances. I want to see him throw a punch. Can he throw those hands like he can attack those legs? Ten week camp for Tonin said the majority of camp was shoot boxing. Kormanal's got to be very careful. He's always got to be looking for the, the takedown. See, you can see uh, Tonin threaten a little bit to roll there. Now he's approaching, he's trying to box into the takedown. If it goes to ground, look for Tonin to try and slap on the inside heel hook. It's his specialty in grappling. He submitted 35% of his opponents in BJJ with the inside heel hook. Yeah. High knee! High kick! Tonin with the striking early here, going up high. This is a lot more striking than I anticipated. Tonin looks very relaxed. He's got some awkward head movement. He's using his entire body to avoid these shots, but he's moving quite comfortably on his feet. Tonin switching stuns, takes an outside leg kick, moves that leg to the back. Constantly between Southpaw and Orthodox here is Tonin, trying to confound Kormanov. And Kormanov looking relaxed. As long as it stays on the feet, Kormanov's a happy man. Defends the high kick with a forearm guard, gets out of the way of the jab. Tonin switches to orthodox stars. See Tonin trying to throw the jab, but he immediately backs off, not really putting his punches together in combinations, but he is getting time on his feet. And that's what people wanted to see. How was Gary Tonin going to react when he had punches coming at him? And he just reacted quite well as Kormanov caught him on the chin there. Kormanov's got some very heavy hands on him. Also got some very good submission skills, though I doubt we're going to see him submit Gary Tonin. There's nothing Kormanov will pose in the submissions that Tonin hasn't seen at least a dozen times. But this is where Kormanov wants to keep it. Standing, striking range, overhand right. No left hook for company, though, from Richard Kormanov. Tonin really hasn't even attempted a takedown. You can see him taking the leg kick and kind of riding with the leg kick, just kind of bending down, alleviating some of that pressure. But if Kormanov follows that leg kick up with a nice right hand, he could catch Tonin. But Tonin caught him there with a left hook. Got to be careful when he gets on the inside of Kormanov's elbows. He knocked out Tyrizzi with elbows in the second round back in 2016. It was a fantastic display. That uppercut from Tonin almost took out the ring lights. That's half the round on the feet. This is not what I expected Tonin to be doing. Hands around the waist, confidence oozing here on Gary Tonin in the striking, surprisingly. Who would have thought that Gary Tonin would be a striking half the round in? Is Gary Tonin maybe looking for the go daddy knockout of the night? The in he would break the internet if that happened, Michael. <laughs> Cormanal looking through his brow as well he should, trying to cut off the footwork here of Tonin. Want to keep attacking that lead leg of Tonin, it'll make it harder for Tonin to shoot in on him. Also harder for Tonin to box, the more you can damage the legs. Jab from Cormodor, uppercut. Is this a case of Gary Tonin testing his skills in an area he doesn't usually compete at me? I completely think that's what it is. He's getting time in the stand-up. I don't think he feels threatened by Cormanal's takedown. He hasn't been hurt by anything, really. And there's the takedown. That's what everybody wanted to see. This is, this is a bad spot for Notorious to be in. He's got to keep it tight and hope for a stall. He's got to try to stall the action, keep Gary Tonin nice and tight, not give up one of those legs, because Tonin is a leg lock wizard. We saw him submit Shinya Aoki in their grappling match just a few months ago with a beautiful inside heel hook. Tonin not going to allow him to here. Tries to plow into the guard with the overhand right. Cormodal springs to his feet. Nice work from the Filipino. Under a minute remaining in a very entertaining opening round. Joe! Oh! The big kibosh! Here comes Tonin! The ground and pound! The aggression from Tonin! That was a huge shot that landed! And Cormodal's still here! Tonin's going to cheer! Cormodal is game! He is in it still! He was rocked by a huge punch from Gary the Lion! See that replay. We have got to see that.
the punch that dropped for it all. Look at these combinations from Gary Tonin. Left hand uppercut, riding the leg kicks, throwing kicks of his own. There was the takedown. That's why I thought it was the beginning of the end, but no, Tonin wanted to strike. Watch this punch. Boom! Big right hand crumbles notorious as Tonin starts throwing leather. Oh my lord, Michael! You've got to remember, Corbinals had more than 76 kickboxing and Muay Thai contests. He has faced some of the most ferocious hitters on the planet. The man has a chin of granite because a lesser man would have been knocked out by that huge strike of Gary Tonin. Tonin is flying with confidence. Second round, set for three, inside the massive Impact Arena in Bangkok, Thailand. All right, ready? Playing host ready? to the largest martial arts organization <laughs> on the planet. It's one championship. Kerry Tonin with a near TKO finish. Who'd have thunk it? A near contender for GoDaddy knockout of the night. Now let's see what Corbinal can do because Gary Tonin is on song on the money thus far. Oh, okay. Just himself. Big, he's trying to elevate a little bit because of the height of Notorious. He's trying to reach that head with a big head kick. Just foot caught up under him a little bit. Good defense from Notorious. Oh, he is so dangerous when he gets into the clinch. He's going to try to inside reap that leg there. Yep, just like that. Brains that goes to the outside rather this time. Now in the half guard are notorious. Gary Tonin, top position. So many options available for the grappling whiz from here. Huge submission ratio in his BJJ competition. Can he start his global rules set career with the submission of Richard Cornell? Might be a lot for the ground and pound instead. Showing heavy hands tonight, Gary Tonin. He's very comfortable from the top position. Look at him striking from the top. Takes the back, now he's in side control. This is Tonin Land. This is Toninville, and Cormenal is trapped. Now he's got Neon Belly slides into the mount. Look at Cormenal, trying to slow, trying to move. But Gary Tonin is just all over him. Every move that Cormenal is trying to do, Gary Tonin is just one step ahead of him like a grandmaster in chess. But Cormenal's still here. Tonin, what's he sitting up for now? Another aggressive position from the American. He starts the ground and pound the safe. Big elbow drops down to the nose. There's one to the forehead. There's a right to the orbital. Corbinal taking shots, taking a beating now. Gives his back. Oh, this is danger. This is trouble. It could be the beginning of the end. You don't give your back to Gary Tonin, but somehow Corbinal back on his feet. Tonin is trying to set a precedent. He is not just a one-dimensional grappler. He is a complete martial artist. He is trying to put the lightweight division on notice that Tonin has arrived. He's showing us a huge skill set right now. Are you surprised at the resilience and the escaping so far of Cormenal, Tony? Cormenal knows what's at stake here. He, and the world is watching this match, so he knows he has to give it every ounce of determination and heart that he has, and he's doing that. He's eating some big shots that would have dropped any other lesser opponent, but Cormenal is in there, hanging tough. Good popping right hand there from Gary Tone, and his ground and pound has been on point tonight. Up kicks trying to push him off for his Gormadal. Wants to spring to his feet, the Filipino. Tonin won't let him. Drills in that left hand. There's another one from Gary Tonin. Oh, oh, that slaps the legs away to go to side control. Is Gormadal going to give his back here? Gary Tonin! What's he looking for here, Dragon? Oh, beautiful. He was attempting to possibly go for the banana splits there. He was had him with his legs locked up. Cormadal scrambled out of it. Now he's in side control. And you know what? I don't know why we're so surprised that uh, Tony is demonstrating these skills. Look who is in his corner, Michael. We've got John Donaher. We've got Tom DeBlast coaching Gary Tony in every aspect. Now he's in Mount Dropping Bombs. Throw the people's elbow. Is that what I just saw him do right there? 
Gary Tonin looking tremendously impressive in his debut in one championship. Welcome to the Global Rule Set, Gary Tonin. An elated corner, an elated Tonin. A magnificent performance from Tonin Mitch. You know, you could just see him. He didn't want to finish with a submission. He wasn't trying to grapple. He was trying to throw shots. He was trying to get the knockout. He wanted to finish this by knockout. Not just sorry, but not just grapple when we thought he was going to. I thought he was going to die for a leg, but no. He barely attempted the takedowns. He was running over Cormanal. Very impressive debut from Gary Tony. And let's go to Dominic Lau, my good old official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Coste, has put a stop to this contest after three minutes and 40 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of referee stoppage due to strikes, Gary Tonin! A magnificent debut, and Gary Tonin is 1-0 in one championship.